fostering Rosie and she may be getting adopted. She got an application today and I'm doing the home visit on the way home and um, it sounds like a perfect match for her. So I've had her. She came from Kentucky several weeks ago and um, she was only one of nine dogs that was rescued that day and 200 and something were put to sleep. So she was very lucky to make it out of Kentucky. So. She's a good dog. Stevie came up Rescue Road Trips, which is a tractor trailer that comes up from Louisiana, Alabama, Tennessee, Texas. He's been in a shelter for a while. His name is Whiskers. He kind of has a little mohawk. He's cute. Uh, this is Creme Brulee. He was unfortunately uh, a product of divorce, so he's looking for a new forever home. And as you can see, he's really pretty mellow. Scruffy's a two-year-old male. Uh, he was uh, bought as a puppy and um, returned by an elderly couple that just couldn't keep up with managing him. So he is the cutest thing. He's been awesome. I have Blossom. She's a beagle basset that was dumped under a bridge. She and her eight litter mates. And the other one is Ruby. And somebody just had puppies and they go and dump them. Or they put them in dumpsters and we go dumpster diving and get dogs out of the dumpster or under the dumpsters. Many of them are purebred, many of them are just purity mixes, but they all are loving. All, all are. We don't have the laws that y'all have. We, the people down there do not spay neuter. Y'all are required to spay neuter up here. Um, it's so much irresponsibility on the behalf of a lot of the people down there just not to do it, and so they just get overpopulated. There's parishes down south of us that I have just recently found out don't even have animal control, so they just get dumped, and people will actually just shoot them to get rid of them. You'd be surprised the gamut that they come from and usually they're in bad shape. And we had 58 dogs that we brought this event in one van. This is our hope, this is our hope. We wouldn't travel this far if we didn't think we, this was the best place to be for our dogs. And this just fires us up. This just gives us the motivation, go back home, save however many we can, get them vetted and come back in June or if, if there's another event, we'll come up. We, I mean, it takes us three, two and a half, three days to get here. The first time we came, and it was here, and they had that door closed, and uh, no, they had it blocked off so nobody came in, and I had one of my fosters that was already adopted, but waiting on the people to meet me, and I went out that door, and I said, oh my gosh, it looks like Black Friday here. I mean, the people were lined up, and as I was walking through, they were like, oh, she's adorable, I want her, I want her. I said, y'all, I put my head down, I said, she's adopted, she's adopted, and I went out, and I came, when, then when I came back through, they're there again, oh, she's adorable, do you have more like her in it? I mean, I mean, that's that just fires us up. We are we're a tight group. Yeah. We're a tight group. Everybody, all the animals are, all the animal lovers are. Yeah, I know it. Say hi. There you go. That's a good girl. I saw all the signs for the past couple weeks. So, uh, and I know my girlfriend loves puppies, so we just decided to swing by and see what see how it was. <laughs> That's basically it. Yeah, and we and we came <laughs> last year too, and it was a good time. So we figured we'd come back and check it out. It's good. There's a lot of cute little dogs. So I have two young kids, so it should be interesting. But it'll it'll be fun. Well, we've been looking online on Pet Finder, and we saw the event, and uh, we talked about it. And I said, let's go look and just see what's here. So we showed up, and now we're bringing one home. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Wow, I couldn't believe all these dogs got adopted in one day. We started off with 300 dogs, 276 adoptions. Outstanding guys, what a, what a fantastic job you guys are doing. Really super. Good. 